Hey, gossip aficionados. Ready to dive into the drama swirling around none other than Marjorie Taylor Greene. From double-crossing allies to posting inflammatory social media content and getting kicked out of key committee roles, she's made quite a name for herself in the world of political scandal. So, grab your popcorn and settle in as we unpack the juicy details behind Marjorie Taylor Greene's most eyebrow-raising controversies. Marjorie Taylor Greene didn't shy away from controversy when she decided to cozy up to right-wing figure Nick Fuentes, even attending one of his events. But like all dramatic political plot twists, this relationship went sour fast. Despite her association with Fuentes, Greene wasted no time distancing herself when things got a little too heated. She publicly criticized him and his supporters, calling their ideology distasteful and out of line with her own. This blatant about-face left her former allies feeling betrayed and puzzled, sparking accusations that she was more interested in saving her own image than sticking to her convictions. Fuentes, who has a strong following, didn't take kindly to Green's criticism. He blasted her for trying to win favor with the mainstream while riding the wave of fringe movements that had given her such a controversial spotlight. Green's attempt to appeal to both sides left her caught between conflicting loyalties, a move that backfired spectacularly and exposed the fickle nature of her political alliances. Her betrayal not only burned bridges with a segment of her supporters, but also highlighted her willingness to shift her positions for the sake of optics. For someone who prides herself on standing firm in her beliefs, this reversal showcased a tendency to turn on her allies when the going gets tough. Even Alexander uh, attempted to apologize, we can Somebody get to that in just a moment, but Jane. Moving on to her social media activity, Marjorie Taylor Greene's past posts are like a treasure trove of inflammatory content that would make even the boldest politician cringe. Likes and comments on her profiles revealed a history of endorsing violent rhetoric against Democratic figures like Nancy Pelosi. The backlash was swift and fierce, with many calling her out for fostering an atmosphere of hostility and threats that are dangerous and unacceptable. Green quickly distanced herself, claiming she hadn't managed her accounts at the time and didn't endorse such ideas. However, it's hard to shake the impression that these were not isolated incidents, but rather a disturbing pattern of behavior that she tried to shrug off with a classic case of political backpedaling. Her attempts to play innocent only fueled further skepticism, and critics were quick to dismiss her denials as an attempt to dodge accountability. Her online presence has been a goldmine of controversy, making headlines time and again with content that toes the line between shocking and downright offensive. Green's social media antics reflect a troubling lack of judgment and a willingness to fan the flames of division, all for a few clicks and retweets. Margin in US light of the dangerous, bigoted. Lastly, let's not forget the fallout that came when Marjorie Taylor Greene was unceremoniously stripped of her committee assignments in early 2021. After a series of public outcries over her promotion of conspiracy theories and extremist views, Congress had had enough. Members from both parties voted to remove her from the House Education and Labor Committee and the House Budget Committee, putting her influence and credibility under serious question. Green's removal from these committees was a resounding rejection of her tactics and rhetoric. It was a dramatic moment that sent a clear message. If you're going to push fringe ideologies and endorse harmful conspiracies, you won't be rewarded with decision-making power. For Green, losing these roles wasn't just a slap on the wrist, it was a humiliating blow that left her on the sidelines, unable to wield the influence she craved. Despite this clear rebuke, Green remained unapologetic and used the removal to fuel her narrative of victimhood, claiming she was unfairly targeted by the establishment. Yet, this episode revealed just how out of touch she had become with even her own party's expectations, proving that even in politics, there's such a thing as going too far. Former president, uh, that was a vote of conscience for them as well. Give me your reaction, Doug. Well, it was clearly a vote of conscience. And it was there you have it, matter, folks. Three of the juiciest scandals that have put Marjorie Taylor Greene in the hot seat. 
From backstabbing allies to inflammatory online behavior and losing her committee privileges, she's certainly left a trail of drama in her wake. They could have just simply some, some reporting out there suggests that. Whether you love her or loathe her, one thing's for sure, Marjorie Taylor Greene knows how to keep things interesting. I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe, as I will continue posting go only the best celebrity and K-pop content. This was Watch Wave, and until next time, have a good one. You're, tell, you're telling me to move yeah. out of the country. The, that is your the official whole position world as a member of Congress. You're in government. Okay, so I just, I just want to believe. I just want to be right.